morning, IHS. This is a little red in the morning. Today we will have a special guest with us from the boys varsity basketball team to talk about us about the game and about their season so far. Now here's Ariel. Good morning, IHS. My name is Ariel, and this is a little red in the morning. Today is Wednesday, January 14th, a day three. Come to the outside entrance of the gym today after school and buy a cup of hot cocoa for one dollar. Help support National Honor Society. The National German ex exam is being given today in K Building. A list of students taking this exam has been emailed to all staff. There will be no announcements between periods 1, 2, 4, 5, and 7 and 8. Be sure to tune in to WRED's video announcements to get all the important announcements. Any student who receives free or reduced lunch and would like a free graduation cap and gown should go to B3 or B10 in activities to sign up. Jostens will be here January 22nd in H Courtyard to take orders from seniors for caps and gowns. Hey Link Leaders, we have a meeting Thursday, third period. Wear your shirts, sea of blue. See you there. Attention IHS students, teachers, and friends. The annual badminton tournament is this Saturday from 1230 to 330 in the big gym. Teams of two are invited to participate for just $10 per team. The team that wins the competition and the team that wins the costume contest will get their names on the trophy and receive gift cards. Stop by the cafeteria during any lunch period this week to sign up and to check out the legendary trophy. The smallest electronic element in your cell phone is just a few atoms across. How do you see such a device? Come to the conversations with a scientist to talk this Thursday in H Courtyard from 5.30 to 6.30. Everyone is welcome. Snacks are provided. Seniors, be included in the 100th edition of the Ithaca High School Yearbook. Complete the electronic senior survey by going to the class Facebook page. Deadline is January 20th. Pokemon meets today after school in the library. Now here's Danny with the weather. Today, the temperature will start off very low and will quickly move to a temperature in between 20 and 25 degrees. At night, the temperatures will likely drop again with speeds with southerly winds at speeds of 4 to 8 miles per hour. And for your daily weather fact, the small town of Vivian, South Dakota holds the record for the largest hailstone ever recorded, which was an 8-inch stone that fell on July 23, 2010. The National Weather Service verified the size of this record-setting stone and added that it just weighed under 2 pounds. Now here's Sacco with sports. Hello IHS, today we have Sammy Memminger here with us. Uh, player on the boys varsity basketball team. Uh, Sammy, how are you today? I'm good. How are you, Sako? Good. Thank you for having this interview. No problem. So, tell me, five game win streak? Six. Six game win streak. Yeah. How have you guys managed to do that? Um, well, in the first two games, we really had a reality check that we can be beaten, but as the games went on past that, we realized that defense is really key and that not getting caught. Mm -hmm. will help us win and because the last couple games we've stick, we stuck together and pulled together tough wins by one or two points. Okay and uh, this Friday big game coming up. Yes. Uh, how are you guys preparing both mentally and at practice? Um, well since we lost to them the first time our first game of the season it was a heartbreaker so we're mentally ready of course because you know we have that in the back of our heads that we lost to them and it's just time to get revenge. But in practice, to get ready for Union Endicott, we just need to focus on defense and not letting their big guy get positioned in the paint all game because that's what's killed us. That's yeah, what yeah. killed us last game for sure. And um, so this future, for the future season, yep. uh, you guys are on the way to hopefully making it to sectionals, making maybe a state tournament run. Yep. Uh, you guys excited for that? We are excited. You know, you need uh, eight wins to go to sectionals. We're two away. Hopefully getting uh, – getting our eighth win on Friday against Union Endicott Let's to hope so. secure a sectional spot and make a state run. All right, well, good luck to the rest of the season. This has been Sammy Memminger here with us, uh, player on the boys' varsity basketball team. Thank you, Sammy. No problem. Thank you. Back to you, Ariel. This is a little red in the morning saying goodbye. <laughs> 